Man, this day just keeps getting better and better. Just a few hours after hearing the news that the Pistons had agreed to a one-year, $6 million deal for sniper Malik Beasley, it's just been reported that the Pistons have agreed to a two-year, $16 million contract with Simone Fontecchio. This move was expected for the Pistons, as it's been well known for some time now that both sides wanted to get a deal done. In both the Pistons' front offices, the previous and current regime wanted to do whatever was necessary to bring Fontecchio back. One of those reasons were the same as to why the Pistons agreed to a deal with Malik Beasley, shooting. Fontecchio shot 40% from three with the Utah Jazz and Pistons combined on five attempts per game in a total of 66 games. He's yet another spacer for Kay Cunningham and Jalen Dern in that pick and roll offense. Last season, he averaged 10.5 points, 3.7 rebounds, 1.5 assists on 42% field goal percentage and 37.5% from three-point range in 25 minutes per game. So now the Pistons all of a sudden have a ton to sort out with their roster as far as rotation because they've suddenly become a team that has many players who are very capable of playing significant minutes. I like Fontecchio's game a lot. He's a really smart player and he usually makes the right play on the floor. I like him too because he's unselfish. He's always giving his body up and he always makes the effort play. So how will the Pistons cap situation look after this signing? To be honest with you, I'm not sure yet. It's yet to be reported how much of this deal is going to go against the Pistons cap, as they still had about 20 plus million available before the news of Fontecchio's deal. What we do know though, is that the Pistons mid-level exception, which is 8 million, is likely gone with the addition of Malik Beasley at one year 6 million, unless the Pistons decide to use that 6 million against the cap and use the mid-level exception on Simone Fontecchio, whose 8 million a year matches up with the 8 million yearly mid-level exception. So until there's more clarity on how the Pistons decide to manage these contracts, I'm going to just wait on that. I'm not going to lie, I'm not an expert when it comes to the logistics of contracts and rules, but I know some of you guys are. So do us all a favor and break it down for us in the comments. Either way though, two years at 16 million, that's great value for Fontecchio. I thought it was going to be upwards of 10 million a year, at least for him. Especially when you look at how his game complements our young core. It's only July, but I'd be lying if I said I wasn't excited about how this team was going to look come day one of the regular season. So how do y'all feel about the signing of Fontecchio? Let me know. My guess is that the Pistons will have at least somewhere between 15 and 20 million after Fontecchio's deal is official. And they could even have somewhere near 25 or 26 million, depending on when certain contracts are signed. So it's a lot. We got to wait and see. And as always, Detroit versus everybody. Peace. And when you knock me down, I'm getting back up. Cause when I step on the floor, you know your time's up. I'm on my way up and I'm not gonna stop. We headed straight to the top in the low. I gotta face it. I got no time to waste it. Waste it. It's my time now.